Hello guys, good morning. Welcome to the channel Automation Testing One. Hello guys. So today we are going to see about how to capture CAPTCHA using test track and validate our Selenium scripts. So in Selenium, usually like the difficult part is we can't use get text to capture the get text from the CAPTCHA because CAPTCHA is the text image embedded with text so in order to retrieve the image from text we need to extract it so for that we are going to follow these steps first of all we are going to do is capture the snapshot of the element image element which is having the caption step 2 we will read the text in the caption using optical character recognition that is test rack library that will do that for us and the third step is once we have the text we will input in the capta and the final step is submit okay this is how we are going to handle capta in selenium let's see how this test rack and ocr Test optical character recognition works. So the first step is any image or PDF file wherever the test is embedded. That test track library will use optical character recognition and read the text based on the the language which we have preferred. For example, in our case, it's English. So whatever the English text inside this character will be picked and it will, it will be inserted in the text file. In our case, I will capture the value in the string so that we can further manipulate or use the data in our scripts. So let's get started. So the first step is you need to download Maven dependency for test SS4J. That is the, our test rack library. I am going to use the latest version. So just download it, copy the dependency, open palm.xml and place it in another dependency folder. In my case already it's available. So step 2 is you need to download the test data. So if you go to this git, you can download all the languages data. So just download the zip and start extracting the files. So this will have all the languages English, Hindi, Telugu, Nada, Tamil, French, Spanish, all the languages are there. So once you have downloaded, place it in the path. Then from there, we will retrieve the data. So that is it. Now let's create a test ng file. So this is the function which I have created. So for this I am passing the path of the file which we are going to do OCR on top of it. So the first thing is so we see we need to give that path where we have the language and we have to specify the language which we are going to use. In our case, it is ENG, that is English. That will be the first three characters of whatever mentioned in the document. That metadata file. So if you see here, English is having ENG 
and you have all other languages as well. So image dot do OCR of you have to pass the path of the file for which we need to extract the capture. And I will return back the string which I have captured you see. Test track library. So let's come to our original test ng. So what we are going to do here, launch the browser and have created a HTML file for capture. You can see driver.get the HTML which I will show you. So this is our own HTML file because it's not good to use the real time application for testing the capture. So I created a my own HTML file which will launch a capture generator page. So once it's launched, what we have to do? So Chrome will be launched and the driver.get will launch our HTML. So if you see, this is our capture page, this is what we have to open. So what we have to do, we have to inspect the image element. You see, whenever we click on top, it creates a new capture. So what are the things we need to inspect? So once we submit, match will come. So this is what we are going to validate. So right click inspect. So it's under the image tag. I have written X path for the scene. So what it will do? I have stored the element. So the, our step is we need to capture that as a screenshot. So in Serenium 4, we have there we can directly use get screenshot as method. If you are using the version before Selenium 4, you have to use take screenshot library. So capta of get screenshot output that file as a file type. So it will store that is a PNG file. So the next step is going to store it in that path with that name 11 on the dot name and destination is nothing but on we are creating the source file and copying it to the destination that's file handler dot copy will do it so the next step what we have to do we have to pass this file so file is created we have to pass this file to our image to text function which we have created for OCR. So once it goes there, what will happen? It will call the test track library using image property. So image is our object and I test track is our class. So as I already explained, the text will be generated using a test track library. So that is it. So once image dot do OCR will convert and pass the string back to the original function. So next step is just enter the text. Click on submit. So you will get a matched string. So you have to compare that value with the expected values matched. If both are matching, then you are well and good. Our optical character recognition is working good. So this is how we achieve a 
Tractinian characterization, optical character recognition. So around it, you can see how we are expecting NSG4 to be captured and entered in the text box. So it has entered NSG4. So, so after submit, we got matched. Now if you see, the test case is passed. The value has been introduced in NSG4. If you go to our screenshot folder, You can see how the element is captured in our G4. That's it for today. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe.